rooftop of Carl Sanderson headquarters down in East Town, Minneapolis. And we were trying to think of something fun to do as um, to grow our culture and get some team building and we landed on Bees on the Roof. So the bees that you have here, a special kind of bee? Uh, they're canolian species, they're European bee species, so they're supposed to be more of a docile honeybee. Um, so that's We perfect. haven't got bit or anything. No, yet. they're We haven't pretty got great. stung, yep. so we're doing okay. So we have a top bar hive, and then we have two Langstroth hives. The Langstroth hives are the most common designs with the frames that give the bees a proper starting position. The top bar hives are a more natural type of hive because the bees have to build their own comb from scratch. Also, you want to have about three hives because, you know, one might be too many, two, yep. two's not enough. So three, you can really get a good gauge on how the bees are doing. So where will they find enough nectar in downtown Minneapolis? Bees will forage two miles. Okay. So they're going to Whittier, they're going to Bryn Mawr, I mean, they're going all over over the place. Also, when we first installed them, we did feed them with a sugar syrup to okay. make sure that waiting, because you know when we installed it was that the week of that two foot snowstorm. There you go, it's a so, perfect time. Yeah, right. So we had to wait a little bit, and then as soon as the plants had started blooming, they're getting their own. I mean, it's great. Right now, we should have about 90,000, and when they're full blown, we'll have maybe 150. We don't have a deep commitment to sustainability and, and growing our community, and it's great being back in Elliott Park, and we're happy to be here. Yeah, and you've obviously brought the bees. Yes.